Good morning, everybody. Mike Vaki, PrincetonTrader.com, here with your Thursday market webcast. All right, daily chart. Uh, we posted the pivots this morning, posted uh, charts in the commentary. Look, the bears have spent the last several days, we've been tracked in this range. They sealed off the 50, took them you know, six or seven sessions to do it, but it's done. They spent yesterday breaking down below uh, the 100 day, the nine day, and closing below the 20 day. And I'll, you know, looking here quickly at the hourly chart, you took out, you know, they took out weekly pivot in the process right here. So look, I don't say this very often in the 10, 11, 12, I don't even know how many years I've been doing this. Uh, the bears did everything that we asked of them yesterday. Literally everything. Doesn't happen very often, but there it is. So what about today? Okay, well, first of all, you're gonna get bounces, okay? When these bounces come, you can be long, you can stand aside, don't fight them short, just don't. If you're in a short from above, and we are from up, it was a ladder down, so it's not that far up, 56. So um, if you're in that, you can just back off and let it work, just relax. Uh, they've already come up and tested hourly mid band and the green line there, which is the daily mid band from underneath. So remember, we use that middle Bollinger band, that 20 day simple moving average as a, as a baseline of whether or not we are sell rallies or buy dips when any product, and this applies for, this applies to stocks as much as it applies to futures or any commodity. If you're looking at a chart, any, anything on a chart that wants to live below the 20 day simple moving average is a rally sell thing, okay? Any thing that wants to live above the 20 day simple moving average is a, is a dip buy ultimately. So we've been in buy dips mode on the daily. Now we're back in sell rallies mode and you can see this trying to play out on the hourly chart. So we go up test at 48, you know, into 7 a.m. It's, uh, it's, it's 8 o'clock on the dot as I'm doing this, um, Eastern time. It held. So what do the bears do from here? Look, they have a gold-plated opportunity to reach uh, for lower prices, okay? Um, ideally, you'd want to see this hold. You'd want to see this break. And uh, going back to the daily chart, that 200 day exponential moving average becomes very achievable, very achievable. Um, and, you know, on the continuation chart, the 200 day exponential is down here at 4,300. On the front month chart, which gets kind of weird because 200 days ago, there, nobody was really trading December. On the front month chart, it's 4,341. So we're basically we're there. Um, I put more. I put more gravitas in in the one that's sitting there at the roundy. So break that forty three twenty seventy five areas like that are going to open up. Uh, right now it's sitting right on top of VWAP and the. Oh, that's nice. Thank you, McAfee. Um, uh, right on top of VWAP and the proprietary moving average, which are both sitting at 37, 4337. So they're trying to convert those, call it 4341 for the hourly mid band. Um, if it can do that, if it can do all that, if it can seal all that off, take out 432075, it can certainly reach for 4300. Now, um, what the bulls need to do, well, I mean, for starters, you got to start closing. You got to close back above the green line. You can't let this happen. Um, you're really fighting for for consistent relevancy anywhere below 4,400. So they have a lot of work to do, and I think they're going to need news to get it done. Not that there isn't an abundance of that running around, and that can work both ways. So we'll see. But this is one of the better opportunities we've seen for the bears to really reach the downside. All right, that's all I got. Everybody have a fantastic day. Join us on Circle. Come check out Premium. Let us help you. Um, closing wrap up, probably about 4.15 today. Subscribers will do another one of our webcasts tonight.
we'll get into all of this in, in, in great detail, including the trades that we were in and the trades that we tried today and what we're looking at, this, that, and the other thing. All right. Take care. Trade them well. I'll talk to you after the close. Follow us over on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat, at Princeton Trader. Check us out on Facebook, and join us for a free trial at www.princetontrader.com. Trade them well.